swamp girl, follow me on a swampy adventure. Here we go! Okay, here we are, day one for the snake count, and that's for the Center for Snake Conservation. And this is September 15th, so this is the fall snake count, round two for us, and we're hoping to find more than four snakes like we did in the spring. So we got our paper in hand here at Shingle Creek. Let's go find some snakes. I think probably one of the most common things we find whenever we're out doing a video has gotta be a millipede. There's a pretty ivy millipede here, look at you. Look at how big it is! It's as big as my face! <laughs> You're cool. Well, I found this while looking for the crayfish snake that eluded me. Very tiny, very cute, and easily lost in all of this. So I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to look for one more minute because that's frustrating. Come on! You were here! I know it! I saw you! Dirty job. All right, Micro, this one's for you. All right, Mike, you gotta come out here and do our dirty job. With us. With us. I you can't take my job. That wouldn't be nice. And I don't think you'd fit into my shorts. So I don't think Micro could take my job. I don't think it'd fit in my boots either. It might fit in my hat. Yeah. All right, now we're getting into some more of that real good snake territory. Here we go. Oh, oh. What? there's poo. That's good, Bruce. Good this way. Look at. Isn't that a damselfly? <laughs> cool. I'm going to go and look at this. this yeah. This piece of wood looks like a man has something like Wood. Lift and. <sighs> Hold that in there. Wood. Wow, wow. Oh my God. No. I'm never green enough. Hello. Hello, Florida natives. Heading out for another day of the snake count. We went down Vermont, which leads to Old Canoe Creek Road and Prairie Lakes. So, stay tuned. What shall we find? Okay, this was a yellow rat snake, sadly, D-O-R. All right, we're on the road so I can't stay long, but really sad. Racer. Got the footprint. We better find some live stuff. This is disturbing. Not a snake, but a cool find anyway. All right. You got it? All right. So, Black Racer, let's take a footprint. <laughs> did it bite? Did yeah, she bite it bit you? my thumb when I went to pick her up after I grabbed her. I don't know where you she's came. doing good now. Yeah, she's fine now. So, here you go, right here, guys. This is Florida's most common snake. People who see snakes usually they're like, "Oh, it's a big black snake." That's because it's usually a black racer. These guys feed primarily on lizards and frogs and such. For any fear or that was my scrunchie, <laughs> naughty. <laughs> I was just saying. So we're gonna let her go. 
Thank you. We've documented that we've seen you. Thanks for being an awesome black racer. Here we go. All right, a little bit more upland. Maybe some rattlesnake territory. Oh, we found a snake shed. Okay. Oh, look at this is nice. Look at this. A uh, couple of them here. These are called apple snails, and uh, they're actually an invasive species here in Florida as well as a few other places. And they get really large. I mean, look at this. They're beautiful. Um, but other things do eat them. Limpkins tend to eat them, and you usually know when it's a limpkin because limpkins. None of these have been eaten by a limpkin, I can tell you that. If I find one, I'll show you. But there's actually a hole that they pick it. And they'll make a hole and eat it out that way. But uh, sometimes the um, snail kites, on the other hand, will actually like remove the disc, the hardened disc, and eat it this way. So you can kind of tell what's been eating them by how they're damaged. Oh, perfect. Good example. Look, I can see the holes here. Yep, look at that. See, I was telling you about the holes. There you go. See the holes there? That's from the limpkins. And their their beak is designed to just bust right through these suckers and there you go, fresh snail. <laughs> Matthew, what is this? It's a cooter. It's a very large cooter. Very, very large. Although obviously it's no very longer living. Large, very non healthy cooter. <laughs> yes, it's no, no it's longer healthy. Healing. Was healthy at some point, obviously, because look this is look at the size. Look at this. Nice and big. What? There's a possum. Wait, easy. Don't just drop it. Poor thing. But what if she gets home? It's okay, sweetie. She's like, I swear. She looks I was like Daisy. sleeping, and all of a sudden my roof was lifted up. Oh, wait, like her this. tail's right there. That's what I said. I'm worried about. Just, just go slow. Go slow. I'll tell you if. Okay. Go slow. Oh, okay. All right. She's all right. Not quite sure where she might pop out, but she's okay. Oh, there she goes. Oh. Sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. That her heart attack. This is awesome. This is a tiny little baby pygmy rattlesnake. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, he's shaking his head. He's like, don't you touch me. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh, this is a great find for the snake count. <laughs> he's like, mm -hmm. How'd you even see him? You're asking Swamp Girl? Hello, okay, yes. here, hold on. You're asking Swamp Girl how she saw a snake? Yes. Take back off. I Don't you take my picture. Back off, look at him. Ribbon snake, yay! That is awesome. Look at those colors. Nice little dot. Yeah. He would have got hit. We would have kept going. Yeah, I know. Because when I jumped out, the guy went to this side of the road. Oh wow, nice and healthy. Look at the water snake. Yay! Awesome. So here we go. Water snake. We can put this one on our list. We are doing so much better than we did in the spring. Okay, so this was a really awesome find. This is a baby ring neck snake. Look at that. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Smaller than an earthworm. I mean, you can see this is uh, Bala's fingers here. And uh, super, super tiny. So this is a really fun find for the snake count. Oh, Matthew was hit with a door. Sit with a door. Because I saw a coral snake. And unfortunately, by the time we stopped, he got spooked and he's off over there. But we can say coral snake that we, we counted one. It's just, again, I can't show it to the people. It is not for no reason. It still counts. But we didn't get it. And I was in with the door. It's okay. You'll heal. I might not. <laughs> I will be emotionally scarred for the rest of my <laughs> life. A baby fence lizard. Aww. He's so cute. All right. Wow, that one's got a really bright orange ring. Yeah, that one's gorgeous. So, ring neck snake underneath some carpeting. Look, he left you a present. That one is, look how red. That one's like almost red. Not even orange, but actually red. Look at that. Oh, the dirty job of looking for snakes. Oh, look, there's my shadow. Hi. So 
sadly, a car had just hit this cotton mouth. Um, kind of, kind of nasty there. He's still kind of alive, but all right. This right here, a lot of people think that it's a copperhead, but it's not. This is an immature or juvenile or baby cotton mouth. Look at that. Beautiful pattern. You know, I almost wish that they would keep that pattern. All right, baby water snake. Little Florida water snake. Awesome. That is awesome. So this night cruising thing is working out pretty good so far over here in Happy Trails. Okay, again, another baby. This is a ribbon snake. Oh my gosh. Look how adorable. Okay, oh, this is a massive Florida water snake and it was it's a hit by a car. All right, we better get back in. There's more cars coming. Oh, oh man, all right. Ah, oh, Florida water snake down. And then there's another one literally right here. Dang it. Okay, final day of the snake count. So we decided to visit Split Oak Forest. So here we are, last day. We've found so many snakes already. It's so much better than the fall count. And we are hoping to just top this list right off. So let's go snake counting. I'll tell you what, if we were doing a deer count, we'd be in pretty good shape. Lala's got a hitchhiker. Hello. She's like, I would like to come along on the snake hunt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Boot. Oh, seriously? Oh, coming back. What is it? Black racer. So there we go. We got our first snake from Split Oak. Oh, he just ate your camera. He just mouthed your camera. Got it! Ow! That one's a little bit more feisty. <laughs> Black racer. All right, Black Racer number two. It's not a snake, it's a glass lizard. A lot of times people call them glass snakes, but they're not, they're actually lizards, they have eyelids. Well, sadly. This one's dead, aw. All right, look, oh. another Black Racer. Got three Black This is three Black Racers. Oh, Ooh, and musky too, that's nice. Jeez. Precious. Oh, all right. Yeah. Very cool. 